Hi, my name is Brian Hughes, PGA Master Professional and Program Director here at Kaiser University College of Golf. Uh, today's golf tip is going to be on lag putting or long putting, whatever phrase you want to use. Uh, essentially, it's one of two areas that I stress to my students about what they should be practicing because if you're really good at lag putting, and in other videos we've talked about short putting, well, you've pretty much got it nailed down if you're good at both. Uh, the objective on a long putt is simply get the ball close enough to the hole that you can make a short one. Uh, if you get lucky and it falls in, well, that's kind of a bonus. So how do we make sure we have our best efforts on long putts? To me, the first step is to always make sure you're reading the green properly. Reading it for what? Reading it for slopes, uphill, downhill, uh, where the ball changes direction. Uh, essentially, every putt needs to be treated as a straight putt. It's just a matter of finding the point where it changes directions. Okay, so on long putts, and I've got about a 25 footer here with a lot of break left to right. In my eyes, I've picked out, I've looked the green over, I've read the green to the point where I think where the putt is gonna make a right hand turn. So once I found that point, my emphasis now is on getting my eyes aligned to that mark, making some rehearsal strokes to that putt or to that mark, and then setting up like I was going to hit a straight putt and just trying to get a feel for the distance. Understanding that the slope is going to take a lot of the last part of the putt. So I can make that one. And from this distance, that's pretty much my goal. So work on your long putts, work on your reading, and I think you'll make better putts.